At Mississippi State University, research is being conducted to study the potential adverse effects of the three-cornered alfalfa hopper on soybeans, led by Dr. Fred Musser and funded by the Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board. The experiment is being conducted to determine how damage caused to the plant by the insect can affect final yield. We are going to inundate with six hoppers per plant. My best guess is it's probably a 6, 8x threshold, real high. If we can't get a yield loss there, I mean, it's high, it'll be a higher density than you'd ever expect to see in the field, let's put it that way. If we can't get a yield loss with that, I'll say, let's get rid of that late season threshold totally. If we see a loss, then um, the, the hope is that we could get another graduate student on it, work at these higher ranges, and figure out where that line should be. The potential benefit from this research will be to give the soybean producer a benchmark to know whether or not to spray an insecticide to control the three-cornered alfalfa hopper so that beneficial insects are not destroyed unnecessarily and yield will not be reduced. Your checkoff dollars working for you. The Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board.